Yo guys, welcome back to Mini PC Joe Pack Opening Video. Today, guys, we're gonna be opening up a bunch of Call of Legends packs, 50 plus. Now, Call of Legends is the rarest and most expensive set on PDCGO to get tradable because of how rare it is and not many people have tradable packs call of legends has shiny legendaries and reverse hollow energies and some competitive cards in the set and that is what we're gonna be trying to gun for today pulling the reverse hollow energies is going to be very hype and getting those shiny legendaries for the collection is going to be awesome so if we can maybe reach 250 likes on today's pack opening video it would be greatly appreciated um to show support on the pack opening video now let's take a look quickly before we open the packs what is actually in call of legends now call of legends is a bit of a reprint type of set of the harkles the silver era kind of like hidden fates in a way there's a lot of reprints from the older sets like this jirachi here and even this uh magmortar this umbreon this magius a lot of reprint cards however there are still some new pokemon there's actually one new pokemon i'm gonna be looking for here um one card i am gonna be trying to pull is this Pachirisu right here which I think is a pretty cool card I do want to pull a few of these now you have the normal legendaries in the set too but then you have the shiny legendaries the most expensive and rare cards in the set apart from the energy um the shiny legendaries shiny Deoxys Dialga all of them they're gonna be really cool to try to get and collect I really want to collect these shiny legendary cards so those are gonna be really cool to try to pull they will be trade locked obviously because I did buy these from the shop because Call of Legends packs are super rare and expensive to buy on pubs not that many people have them for trade um but we'll try to get all the secret legends if we can i already have a few of them so i only need i need a few more but we're gonna try to pull the other big ones are gonna be the uh reverse hollow supporters big one would be reverse hollow lost world and lost remover those would be two of the big ones i want and then finally the energy this is one of the coolest things about call of legends is the reverse hollow energy as you can see fire energy grass energy lightning energy you know, all of them are very, very cool energy cards. Some people prefer to use these over the secret rare energy that we have in the game. So I'm hoping to pull a few of them. Now, obviously, with the amount of packs I am opening up today, I don't think I'm going to pull that many reverse hollow energies. I might, I get my, I'll get lucky if I pull five of them. But we're going to try to pull as many as we can. Um, the ones we want to pull, I think the most expensive one is the dark energy. I'm pretty sure fighting and fire are up there too. I'm not sure what the most expensive one is. I think it is dark. Um, but if we can pull like a small amount of a certain type that we can use in a deck that doesn't play that many of that type of energy, like for example, if we pull like, you know, four light energy and we, and we play like a lightning deck that plays four lightning energy, then we can play the reverse hollow energy over the secret energy. Reverse hollow energy, some people believe to have more long-term value over the secret energy. Now that, uh, Pokemon is reprinting the secret energy within the sword and shield set. So we're going to try to pull some of these now without further ado, let's get into the pack opening um now where are they at here they are now i gotta make sure i get a thumbnail for the video we'll hold on a minute there we go let me just get my thumbnail boom there we go thumbnail taken love to see it okay here we go i got 58 of them now again i would have went for 100 but i do want to save up my coins for evolving skies evolving skies is coming out like a month earlier than most sets and look at that first pack and we already got a reverse hollow sages training which is a good pull because this card is actually a pretty playable card and i do want a few of those reverse hollow and first pack can we get a typhlosion so yeah there's a lot of reprints in the set there's a lot of cards that utilize the lost world too so if we can get some reverse hollow mime juniors that'd be good we get a reverse hollow flareon and our rare is a ho -Oh. not a, not the shiny a lot of fire pokemon in this pack as you guys can see we pulled six fire pokemon which is kind of nutty not going to lie that is kind of nutty all right, what's we got going on in here? Another reverse hall Flareon, and we get a Cleffa with Eek. Cleffa with Eek, see a reprint from the Harkle, so silver base set, but Cleffa is actually a pretty playable card. Um, we got the Oak. Reverse hall Oak would be okay to pull, I guess, too. There's another worst thing ever. I'm hoping for reverse hall Energy or some shiny, so we'll see what we get in this pack. Ooh, double rare. That's a good sign. Reverse hall Pidgeot. I'll take it. You know what? This card, I actually think, used to be. Uh, a vile plume troll deck in legacy and I actually think yellow swallow did a video on that i think it's a bird boy creation deck and the rare is a grand bull all right the pidgeon honestly is not terrible it's a reverse holo card that is actually kind of decent so those are always the best to pull we got our reverse holo marie here and the rare is i flosion okay we got our reverse holo a rare tech lotion i see we get in this pack 
Another Mareep. Okay, wow. And we get ourselves a Houndoom with Fire Counterattack. Very interesting. Okay, hopefully we can get something here in this next pack. Again, there's no, like, big GX or Vs in set. No Prime cards. We get another Flareon. Okay, we've pulled two Flareon Reverse Hollows and two Mareep Reverse Hollows. Very interesting pulls. All right. This pack here, I guarantee I'm just going to have something in it. I'm just saying. The double rare we get. Oh, a Reverse Hall Requisite. Not the shiny, but the rare is a Tangrowth. Okay. We did pull a Lost World. As you can see, Lost World, a very cool mechanic. If this card was around in our modern-day TCG, it'd be kind of cool. Once during each player's turn, if that player's po opponent has six or more Pokemon in the Lost Zone, that player may choose to win the game. This card is very niche. It's actually kind of hard to win games in Legacy with this card because a lot of Legacy decks actually don't play that many Pokemon. Um, but this card is still kind of fascinating. It's one of the coolest stadiums ever printed. One of the coolest mechanics ever printed. And the Lost World is still a thing in standard with, like, Prism Stars, but they don't really do much depth with them. Um, Verse Mime, all right, that's a pretty good pull. There's actually a deck that I that I might make a video on that does play that. And the rare is a Snorlax. So you can see a lot of Lost World mechanics here. Um, a lot of Lost World cards. The Lost World never really took off. A lot of people actually thought it was going to be insane, especially with Gengar Prime, but it never went anywhere. Double rare again. Oh! Oh my god, we got a reverse hollow smeargle. This right here is a money pull. This is one of the best cards in Legacy. This is like the, honestly, the most staple of staple Legacy cards apart from Junk Arm. This card is a must-have in Legacy. It's in two sets, Undaunted and Call of Legends, and we just pulled the reverse hollow smeargle. That is actually kind of nutty. This is an amazing pull. I really wish it was trade locked, but this is maybe one of the best pulls we can get in the entire set because Reverse Hall Smeargle is good. And the rare is a Cramble. Still, though, Reverse Hall Smeargle is insane. That is a great pull right there. I mean, Reverse Hall of this card is probably upwards of like 50 packs, I would assume. Um, so getting that is very good. Um, if we could pull a second one, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, second Smeargle would be great. All right, double rare again. Oh, let's go! We got ourselves our first shiny Pokemon of the pack opening, a shiny Palkia. I didn't have this one yet, so that does add to the collection. Wormhole doing 60 damage, switch Palkia with one of your bench Pokemon. Honestly, not that great of an attack, but you know what? It could work as a hit and run deck, you know, with Suicune and Blastoise. That's a pretty hype pull, not gonna lie. I'm pretty hyped about that. I don't know what the most playable shiny is out of them all, but Palkia could be one of them. Like, I actually can see this working with Blastoise and Suicune. And the rare is a Skarmory. All right. So we got Smeargle vs. Hollow and then a Shiny Palkia. That's pretty good. Oh, back to back to back. We got a Reverse Hollow Water Energy goes with the Palkia we just pulled. Reverse Hollow Water Energy is awesome. We got our first Reverse Energy of the pack opening. And the rare is another Rayquaza. That was a Shiny. That would have been insane. All right. So we got Smeargle, Palkia, and Water Energy. We get four in a row. No, we get another Mareep and another Cleffa. That was pretty hype, though. That was hype. That, that was great. All right, let's see what we get here. Coughing, and the rare is an Ampharos. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we can get, like, a Reverse Hall Lost World. That'd be awesome to pull. Oh, double rare again. I like the sign of that. Let's go! We got another shiny! <laughs> we got ourselves a shiny Dialga here. Another one that I didn't have. Now, funny enough, this actually might be one of the worst cards ever printed. Time Rewind. Four Metal Energy. You do a whopping 70 damage. Shuffle your hand in your deck. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Do you, do you see that? Do you see how bad that is? You don't draw a card. No, no, no. You just shuffle your hand in your deck. You draw zero cards. This is honestly maybe one of the worst cards ever printed. Which is funny. But we pulled it for our collection. And the rare is a Backpack Legendaries Deoxys. you love to see it. All right. That's funny. We actually got Palkia and Dialga. Hey, a Reversal Copycat. That's hype. That's a really good pull, actually. Um, let's go. We got our first Pachirisu. And again, I didn't have any of these. And it's actually got a really cool ability, self-generation, when you play it from your hand on your bench. You can attach up to two Lightning Energy from your hand to Pachirisu. Combine this with the Unleashed Shaman. And you can power up a Lightning Pokemon in, like, one turn, which is insane. That's a very good pull. Um, if this card was legal, scoop up net. That'd be insane. The copycat is an awesome. This was a great pack. Copycat reverse hollow is always good. Reverse hollow supporters from the Heart Coastal Silver era are always nice to have. Um, I sometimes like using them over the full arts. A double rare. 
Oh my god. We got a second Smeargle. Oh my gosh. Bro, that's like not... We haven't even opened up 10 packs since the last Smeargle pull. Oh wow. We now have two Reverse Hall Smeargles. That's insane. And we got a Jirachi. I'll take it. That's a pretty good card. I actually can't believe we just pulled another Smeargle. And that was in that close after the last one. Again, Smeargle is one of the best legacy cards. I don't know what artwork I like more. Uh, if I like the Call of Legends artwork or if I like the Undaunted artwork more. I don't know, man. The Call of Legends one looks cooler. I don't know, man. I might have to start using this Call of Legends one. I can't believe we pulled two of them. That saves me like 100 plat. That probably, yeah, that saves me like 100 packs probably. Man, that's insane. Double rare again. Okay, we got normal Dialga. And another Jirachi. See, the Dialga. We got the shiny version of it. Again, not a good card. How many packs do we have left? 40. Yeah, we still got a ways to go. Still got a ways to go. At this rate, at this rate, we'll be chilling. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we get in this pack here. I'm hoping for some more Reverse Hollow Energy. We've pulled one so far. We've got the Water Energy. Hey, a Reverse Hollow Dual Ball. Another pretty good pull because Reverse Hollow Trainers and Items from the HTSS era, pretty good. Rare is a for Alligator. Okay. The Dual Ball is pretty good, though. We've gotten a Dual Ball and a Sage's Training Reverse Hollow for E and a Copycat. Um, there's a Clef Fable. That is a Hollow card. Okay. Let's get into another pack here. Let's hope. More hype pulls. Ooh, let's go. We reverse Hollow Mime Jr. This is one of the cards that I wanted. Now, when you're trying to play a Lost World deck, this is actually a very good card. Sleepy Lost, putting the top card in your opponent's deck in the Lost Zone. Combine this with Slow King, uh, which is actually in the set. You can actually put Pokemon in the Lost Zone and power it up for the Lost World Stadium to win the game. So that's a very great, that's a great pull. Um, yeah, I'm happy we got that. I'm happy we got that. Mime Jr. is awesome. And again, I want to do another video on a Lost World deck at some point. Um, double Rare again. Okay, we got Lucario. And actually, funny enough, this card is not terrible. But at the same time, it's also infamous. This card used to be... There used to be, like, a promo version of this that used to, like... There, people used to scam with it, I think. Um, which is funny. We got a Lugia. All right. Yeah, Lucario's not bad. I don't know how good it is. I don't think it's that great. Let's go, Reverse Hall Research Record. Another pretty good card. Look at the top four cards of your deck, and you can rearrange them, and then you can put the remaining cards at the bottom. So you can actually combine this with Electrode Prime, and you can keep the energy on top of the deck that you want to discard or you want to attach to your Pokemon Electrode, and then you put the remaining cards so you don't want to lose to the bottom of the deck. So I actually really wanted to Reverse Hollow one of these. That's awesome. And the rare is another Rayquaza. I think Shiny Rayquaza would be probably my favorite pull if we... Well, not my favorite pull, but my favorite Shiny pull. We can pull any shiny Pokemon. That shiny Rayquaza would be pretty hype. All right, we get a Versal Cyndaquil and another Deoxys. Let's keep um keep trucking along here. What do we get here? Oh, Reversal's interview is questions. I mean, it's not the greatest card. Look at the top eight cards. Use many energy. You know what? If I'm gonna get a playable one and I ever play it, I would want it in Reverse Hollow. And yeah, we got another Gramble. Okay. That's fine. The more reverse hall trainers and items I got, the better. Again, I want to see if we can get some reverse hall energy again. We get a Riolu and a Meganium. Okay, nothing special there. All right. Try to get some more shinies. I can't get over those Smeargles, though. That honestly might make this pack opening worth it from that alone. Um, like, th those reverse hall Smeargles, that's, that's insane that we pulled those two cards. All right, what are we going to get here? Ooh, reverse Jolteon and a Megmortar. Not the good one. Not the Megmortar mill deck that I played. But it is what it is. How many Lost Mirrors? We have seven of them now. All right. We're almost at the halfway point. Verse Vaporeon. We're getting a lot of the Verse Evolutions, apparently. And we got another Cleffa. I guess Reverse Hollow Cleffa would actually be pretty good, too. I'm um, not going to lie. That'd be a pretty decent pull to get. Reverse Hollow Cleffa would be pretty good. Ooh, double rare. Oh, it's a fortress. Everyone explode now. This is a funny card. Uh, does 30 discard... Uh, for, no, does not discard. Does 30 damage times the number of Pinecone Fortress in play. Does 30, one, 30 for each one. So, again, does 120 in total. Uh, another Deoxys. All right. Yeah, every time we see the double rare, it's pretty exciting. Double rare again. Oh, make more tar. No shiny in that. No, Groudon. I'm pretty sure the shinies are in the reverse hollow slot because I think that's, that's where we've pulled them, so... If we see a double rare, that means we might get ourselves a shiny. Funny enough, we've gotten shiny Dialga and Palkia. 
ADP anybody? All we just need is a shiny Arceus. All right, double rare again. Here we go. Oh my God, we got a third Smeargle. What the heck? Bro, no way. If only this was tradable. Oh my God, that's so good. What the heck? I actually can't believe we pulled three of these. Now, in all fairness, there's not the most insane amount of rares in the set. So it's not unlikely to pull a first health miracle, but pulling three of them in this short of a time span is actually pretty nutty. I mean, I'm never, I don't think I'm ever going to use three smiggle in a deck, but I'm definitely going to use two. That's nuts. I can't believe I actually pulled three of them. It's pretty insane. Hey, another reverse sage is training. That's a playset now, I think. No, it's three of them. That's close to a playset. We got ourselves a Zangoose here. Choose one card in your opponent's name that looking and put in Lost Zone. It could be another way you can put stuff in the Lost Zone, I guess. You can't look, so it's kind of sus. Um, we haven't even pulled the regular Smeagol. We've pulled three Reverse Hollows. That's insane. Reverse, okay, not Reverse Hollows. We got Lost World. Shiny? No, we got a Hitmon Top. Got ourselves a Slow King. Reverse Slow King would be okay. The Hitmon Top. Well, I actually used this Hitmon Top in my, uh, in that, that, uh, that Max Coin Flip video. All right, how many packs do we have left? Okay, we, that was the halfway point. All right, we are now under halfway done of the pack opening today of Call of Legends. The Vintages of Vintage Sets. Coughing. We have another Lucario. See, yeah, there is a scam with this Lucario. I think it was like a non hollow version or something. I don't know. But there used to be this Lucario scam back in the day, uh, which is kind of, kind of unfortunate. I want to try to get another, I want to try to get a Versal Lost Remover. I have one of them. Okay, here we go. Oh, let's go, a Verse Pachirisu. If I'm going to get a Pachirisu again, I would like to be Verse Hollow. I don't know if I need four or three of these for a deck. Um, so that's a good pull, though. That was a great pull. We got a Mr. Yeah, Mr. Mamar. Yeah, Verse Pachirisu is exciting, though. That's a really nice Reverse Hollow to have. This is the card I wanted, and I'm excited to try it out in the Legacy format. All right, double rare again. You love to see it. What are we going to get this time? We get a shiny Lugia. I already had one, though, but you know what? A shiny pull is a shiny pull. It's fine by me. Uh, not as good as the Palkia. Not as bad as the Dialga, though. It's pretty basic and linear. Five energy for 80. Bro, they really made these shiny cards, like, just not that good. All right, and our rare is another Patrisu? No, Ampharos. Okay. So we pulled three shinies. We've, pulled, we've only pulled one energy. That's insane. We've pulled three shinies, though. Uh, we're bound to pull something like another energy soon, I bet. Um, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully pull another energy soon. Mistrevious Reverse Hall is not bad. And we got the normal Palkia. Again, I actually think this card is not bad in a hit and run deck. Like, if we're ever going to make a video on any of these shiny Pokemon, shiny legendaries, probably would have to just be Palkia, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. We'll look at the other ones after. We'll do a little quick recap of our uh, pulls and stuff and what Pokemon what other shinies and what they can do. Hey, we got a playset of Reverse Hall Copycat. That's pretty nice. Now, if I want to do a deck with Copycat, I got Reverse Hall and playsets. We got ourselves a Leafeon with Plasma Wind or Miasma Wind doing 50 damage for each special deletion on the active. Now, this is similar to the Ninetales. Not a bad card at all. Definitely a playable card for sure. It's definitely playable. Reverse Viper. If the Viper is poison, does 20 damage plus 60 more... And they remove the damage? I mean, bro, not even a chance. And we got the normal Deoxys. All right. We know this, this shiny is probably not that good. Cell Storm, 60 damage. Got two Psychic, remove six damage. Yes, because your ADHP Deoxys is really going to take a hit. Yes, sir. No, sir. That is just not possible. All right. Reverse Vaporeon again. And our rare. Hey, let's go. We got ourselves a third Pachirisu. So I might only need three. I might need four. Not sure how many Patrices I would need to build a Patrisu base deck. I'll take it. Because I needed it. Alright, let's try to get another energy. I'm really surprised we only pulled one energy so far. A double rare. Is it a shiny? No, it's the normal Palkia. Rip. We got scammed. How many packs do we have left? We have 15 packs left. So, 15 packs. That's not a bad amount of packs left to open up to try to pull ourselves another, another sick pull here. Come on, let's big it up. Again, one reverse all energy is honestly really shocking. Uh, but who needs reverse all energy when you pull a reverse all magic card? I actually think this is usable in expanded. Or maybe even not standard, right? No, I don't think it's standard. Well, maybe. No, is it usable in standard? Oh, it might be. You imagine. Reverse all Bayleaf. We got Tyrogue. All right, all right. Not great, not great. Here we go. What's in this pack? What are we looking at here? Double rare. We got another Vaporeon. We have pulled three locked reverse all Vaporeons and a Snorlax. Okay. 
Bit of a dud there. Bit of a dud pack. What are we getting here? Ooh, double rare. I like where this is going. I do not like this where we're going. We got a reverse hollow Snorlax. And the rare is another for Alligator. Not sure this is playable. No, it's definitely not playable. No, sir. All right, we almost have 10 packs left of these to open up. Let's try to get more shinies and maybe try to get ourselves a reverse energy. We got a play set of Sage's Training. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take the play set. Sage's Training. He has Sage's Training at the end of the day. I will indeed take a play set. Ooh, double rare. Oh, hit my top. Every time you get double rare, you just get so excited because, like, you get the opportunity. Again, only re one reverse hollow energy is honestly shocking. Um, another reverse hollow energy. Interviewers questions. Miss Maggie, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. We're under ten packs to go, so we're almost done here. Again, we only gotta get more. We gotta get more shinies, bro. Another Lucario. Okay. Reverse hollow Quilla was cool. I guess want to play Rushy Flotion again. Not a bad legacy deck. Okay, now we have five reverse hollow stages trainings. Now I got five of them. What do we got left? Six packs to go. All right. Six packs to go. We got a reverse hall energy and one more shiny out of these last six packs. Maybe. No, bro. Hit on top. What are you talking about, brother? Still no reverse hall lost world either. I was hoping for like a few reverse hall lost worlds. That would have been a really good card to have. Alas. It was meant to be. All right. Let's do this this time. Let's go the other way around. Let's flip this over. Yeah, we get the normal ground on. That means there is a shiny in this pack, right? No, but it's reverse all Jirachi, which is actually pretty good. Uh, because this card is not bad at all. I will take it. But it's not a shiny. Again, one reverse all energy out of 58 packs is pretty wild. Pidgeotto. No shiny there. How many do we have left? Three packs to go, folks. Can we get one last shiny or reverse all energy in this pack? Let's find out. No, we get a Pidgey. We got Reversal Pidgeot, Pidgeotto, and Pidgey. We got Typhlosion. All right, two packs to go. I'm going to be very amazed if we don't get anything big out of these. Oh, Reverse Bayleaf. You hate to see it. We got ourselves Espeon. All right, guys. Here we go. This is the very last pack of Call of Legends. The very last pack we are going to be opening up. Can we get something? We do not. The very last pack we get trolled. We pull a Reversal Magikarp. The rare is a Skarmory. Okay. All right. Well, guys, I was actually able to get 10 more Call of Legends packs here to make this video a little bit more interesting. I was able to get 10 more packs here. So I'm going to open up these 10 packs here. And I'm still hoping for Reverse Energy. We get another Reverse Sages Training. Pulled a lot of those. We have pulled a lot of Reverse Sages Training in this pack opening. All right. Let's see. We got 10 packs here to go. So hopefully if we can get another Shiny. Shiny? get a verse for alligator i mean i didn't have it it adds to the collection and the rare is double for alligator yes sir double for alligator not one but two okay double rare let's go we got another reverse energy and we actually get i think this is our second water i think the yeah this is the second water we've pulled i think we've pulled a water gene the first one first half and then we just pulled another reverse hollow water g i will take it um, age or actually hollow. Yeah, reverse energy is pretty good. Um, water, I mean, water, you probably need at least 12 of them because of how, like, Frost, Moth, and Blastoise work. Um, I think the ones you need the least of is, like, probably Fighting and Lightning, maybe. Dark, too. Oh, double rare? Okay, we got reverse Palkia. Not the, not the shiny. We got Rayquaza here. But not the shiny Rayquaza. All right, let's see what we get in this pack. Maybe another Reverse Hollow Energy? That'd be pretty dope. No, we get a Seviper. And the rare is a Fortress Hollow, which I didn't have. We did pull a Reverse Hollow. One of these. Said every one explode now attack is pretty hilarious. Though, I'm not going to lie. How much packs? We got five left. So that's five to go. Let's see if we can end off this pack opening video strong. We did get a second Reverse Energy, which I am happy about. We got Reverse Teddy Ursa. And the rare is a Hollow Gyarados. Pretty cool artwork, but... Not a very playable card, as you can see. Call of Legends didn't have that many playable cards outside of all the Smeargles we've pulled and the Lost World cards. Um, more of a collector set. Um, how many Lost Worlds? We have 12 of them now. 12 Lost Worlds. All right, I think we got three packs left to go. Let's see if we can get a Shiny or a Verse Energy here. Double Rare? We had another Verse Hall Palkia. Oh my gosh. Dang, that's a troll right there. We got a Lost World. 
All right, two packs left, guys. Can we get one last hit in these final two packs of Call of Legends? We get a reverse interviewer's question. So it's reverse all supporter. And the rare is Pidgeot. All right, the official last pack here of the pack opening video. Will we get something in this very last pack? We do get a double rare. All right. We got to end this off a bit more of a grand ray, you know. We got to end this off grand way. So I'm going to actually open up from this side right here. I'm going to open up this card. Okay, it's a Tangrowth. Okay. Verse Hollow Slot. Very last pack. Will it be a shiny card? Or will it be a dud? Here we go, folks. Let's open this up and let's see what are we going to pull. It is a reverse Miss Maggie. So, okay, a bit of a letdown. I thought it was actually going to be a shiny, but Miss Maggie is actually playable. Poltergeist does work with Vileplume, doing 30 plus uh, times the amount of trainers, supporters, and stadiums in your opponent's hands. So that's kind of cool. So, yeah, we got another reverse energy, which is good. Overall, um, the pulls weren't that bad, in all honesty. Honestly, like, the Smeargle alone, I think, makes it, like, actually kind of decent. Um, the Smeargles were really, really good pulls. Like, pulling three reverse Smeargles was actually kind of insane. That's, like, even just pulling one can be pretty hard, but pulling three of them is just crazy to me. So, that, really happy we got the Smeargles. That's one of the, you know, reasons why you can buy Call of Legends is to actually pull Smeargle itself. Unfortunately, we only got a couple of Shinies. We only got the Shiny Dialga and the Shiny Palkia and the Lugia. Funny enough, we got both... Shiny Dialga and Palkia, the Diamond and Pearl cards. Uh, the big ones we wanted, none of them are like super competitive, but uh, only Groudon, Ho-Oh, um, Kyogre, and Raikou. And the big one, of course, but I, the one I wanted to pull the most was Rayquaza. It's not like an amazingly good card. It's not really that good at all, but it is one of the better Shinies to pull. And then, of course, the Suicune also. So, yeah, but the trainers weren't bad either. The, the trainer pulls were all right. I, I kind of hope we would maybe pull a uh, Reverse Hall Lost World would have been pretty good. That's what I was hoping we'd pull. Reverse Hall Lost World. The second Lost World Reverse Hall would, or Lost Remover would have been pretty good. The Research Tracker was pretty good too, though, to be honest. I'm glad we got the Sage's Training. We even got a playset of copycat Reverse Halls now. Um, and then the, the Reverse Hall Energy. I'm honestly surprised we only got two of them, to be honest. I am surprised we only got two Reverse Hall Energy out of 68 packs, I think, we opened up. So we got two... Reverse Hollow Water Energies out of 68 Call of Legends packs. I mean, yeah, I was expecting more Reverse Hollow Energy, to be honest. Um, but I'll take it. I mean, I got a couple waters now. If I ever want to add water to my deck, there we go. If I want to ever play ADP, which will never happen. That'll be up to the video, guys, on at these 68 packs of Call of Legends. The set is really cool. Um, again, it's more of a collector set, but I think we got a lot of really cool bowls. There's, like, it's a fun set to open up because it's old, it's vintage, and you can actually get some staple legacy cards in the packs, as you can see. We can also pull some cool bling for your decks, like those Reverse Hollow Energy cards. So definitely, I would recommend picking up some Call of Legends packs in the shop if you haven't already. Give it a try, and uh, let me know if you do buy any packs. What do you, what's your favorite shiny from the set also? What would you pull? Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, check out Car Kevin down below. Use Call of the Epic Beginning Codes. Unfortunately, Call of Legends is not a code because the set is so darn old. It's the rarest set on PDCGO. Uh, have a good day. Check out my Twitter, my Twitch, my Patreon down below. Um, and I will see you guys in the PDCGO video tomorrow. Peace out. Thanks for watching the pack on me video. Uh, maybe we can reach 250 likes. And I'll catch you guys on another video.